Oh, you wish you were a little rusty. Not a problem. First thing we gotta do is drag metallic all the way up to one. Now, to make a rust map, press Shift A, S, Noise Texture, and drag it into base color. Set scale to 6.4 and detail to 16. Then Shift A, S, Color Ramp, and drag it over the existing connection. Now it's time to add color. I recommend starting with four points. Dark orange at 0.359, light orange at 0.4, really dark red at 0.441, and put a white at 0.557. All right, check it out. Honestly, if you decided to stop right now, that'd be totally fine. But if you want to be a show off, there's a few easy tricks you can do. Generally, the rusted parts shouldn't be very shiny. So if you press Shift A, S, Color Ramp, and drag color into fact, you can turn your rust map into a black and white roughness map. Drag color into roughness, then press Shift A, S, Invert, and drag it in. Change this to gray, and from here, you can drag this closer to highlight the edges if you want. All right, now it's starting to look pretty good. The last thing we can do is give the rusted parts a little depth. So press Shift A, S, bump, drag normal into normal, and drag color from the noise map into height. Press Shift A, S, color ramp, and drag it over the connection you just made. Now from here, depending on where you drag this white point determines how much of the map is smooth and how much of the map is gonna be deep. I recommend making the depth around the rusted parts and lowering the strength to around 0.183. If you wanna add another layer of depth to your map, you could also click the noise texture, shift D to duplicate, change scale to 10.8 and detail to 4.8, drag color into normal, and you'll see this pretty cool reflection effect. You're done. Now here's the best part. Once you've got all this stuff, it's just a matter of deciding how much rust you want. If you want the rusted parts to be smaller, go to the noise texture and drag scale up. But if you want the rusted parts to be bigger, go to the noise texture and drag scale down. And Blender will do all the adjustments for everything else automatically. Anyway, that's how you make procedural rust. Hope that helps! If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.